Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the United Way. I hope you're having a great time. My name is Rob Dukan, a Manchester United fan, just like you who clicked the video. Yeah, in this video, we'll be giving you guys three uh, updates of uh, today for Manchester United. We'll be talking about Mason Greenwood, talking about the, the massive, massive Manchester United deal, <laughs> shared deal with Adidas. And also, we'll be talking about Rasmus Holland. Uh, medicals which is uh, going on today so before we start guys please make sure you click the like on the video this will be for Rasmus Holland maybe for Mason Greenwood if you're a fan and also for Manchester United board who has worked hard for this deal which you might not have not heard about but yeah so um, uh, David Onstein has come out today and uh, confirmed that Rasmus Holland's deal I mean medicals are going on today presently now so we'll be I'll be doing a video about a done deal already you know R R Rasmus Holland will be showing the Manchester United shirt in the public in Old Trafford because the medicals are done today today as I'm speaking so uh, yeah that's the situation with Rasmus Holland we know he has signed a five years contract for Manchester United if you didn't know we did that we saw you guys on the channel so make sure you subscribe and uh, join the young community which we're building here so Rasmus Holland yeah has signed a five years contract for Manchester United 75 million euros with 10 million euros are done so you all know about this already if you're living under a rock then i don't know but that's the breaking news for you <laughs> anyway so with the question is how what does he bring brings to manchester united which is another video we'll be doing shortly i think rasmus holland while he is not uh, cristiano ronaldo he is not ellen Haaland. but guess what russian holland is a player that wanted to play for manchester united and the big news the most important the most important thing here is he wanted to come to the club and this has been i read an article was it from the sun that it's over a decade since the last the last time United had a young and coming attacker who wants to play for United and United signed him. I think the last time we had something closer to him in terms of age, but a little bit older was called Lukaku, yeah, who came to Manchester United. But yes, better it's a signing which will create an impact for Manchester United in one way or the other. We, he has five years to prove himself. Yes, the pressure will be too much, but I know you guys are going to support him, especially you, the match goers, which I know will be. But yeah, guys, uh, make sure you be with us because when the season stands, we'll be doing watch alongs, watch alongs when United is going on. We are on the channel. I'll be back in the studio sometimes in the next three weeks. Uh, and um, we'll be having this chat with you guys on our watch along. So the second story today, yeah, it's uh, Mason, Mason Greenwood. I know uh, most of the fans of this channel, they are Man Mason Greenwood fan. Simon Stone has written there uh, that uh, Manchester United uh, will make a final decision by the 14th of August about his future. So it's about his future. So he can, he might be playing for Manchester United, which would be a good thing for me. It's a fan. I don't know about you, but he might move on to another team in terms of a loan because uh, we need to think about his situation. I know there are a lot of Mason Greenwood fans, especially in this uh, community here. We know of the Nigerian guy we have here, Prince Odion. He will be happy to see Green Mason Green wearing the shirt. I have said this clear. I mean, yeah, I would love Mason Green to stay, but if he leaves, it's not an issue. But on loan, not leaving Manchester United permanently. And I want to talk closely to those of you who are trying to criticize this young player. If you have never done something stupid as a child, then uh, be angry with Mason Greenwood. We all heard what was in the radio, what was in the, in the videos. We saw everything. But I mean, this guy, he has a child with a lady in consent. So I won't say anything about it. But what I would say as a Manchester United fan is that the talent is too hard to throw. Okay, this is what I dislike. Let me put this way: the modern fan was speaking with some Dutch uh, young guys yesterday. They were talking about image of the team, Saudi Arabia, buying players from the uh, Premier League is that destroying football and so on the morals of playing Saudi Arabia coming back about a topic Henderson uh, the captain of Liverpool who moved there I read an article on BBC they're saying that LGBT community is angry with Henderson for going to play for, for taking an 800,000 pounds contract a week to go and play his profession in Saudi Arabia come on why do we go to school why do you play football guess me I mean believe me playing football most of these players are not playing not just because they love the game right yes they love the the game but it's a means for them to, to put food in the table for their their family i just want us to be rational yeah because most of you watching i mean tv mainstream tv mainstream mainstream channels or or maybe a bigger community than this one you guys think this is magic life everything that let me put it this way everything that ronaldo wants you want so these are human. They also have a brain to think and know if something right for them or not. They have a life to live. They have bills to pay. So when you have a good offer, if you're working in McDonald's and you're called to work in a five-star hostel restaurant, I think you go there if, you, if the conditions are perfect. I will never blame a footballer for going to a team, to a club, especially when he's about to come to the end of his career to get his final paycheck. That is totally wrong. If he, if you're like below 25 and doing that, then I, I, I might ask the question for a while, your loyalty for the game, but not when you're, you're in 
in such an age where you're already closing it to 27, 28, and 29, and you're going to get your paycheck and uh, I get all of you writing all this uh, trash. Well, while I do respect it, I disagree with you. I think players need to also think about their bottom line. So that's my opinion. Coming back to Mason Greenwood. Uh, Mason Greenwood, my opinion, Claire, is that I want him to stay. It depends on what you want. Uh, I think Mason Greenwood is a fantastic player. It will be hard for him because I think the, I think the United fan base will, will still support him most. But we have a very uh, lousy 20% uh, which will be uh, very um, disappointed for him to stay. And I love the idea that when that article came out, Adidas also came out and said they did not influence it because um, there have been also talks in the past months that Adidas, the sponsor, main t-shirt sponsor, will have to influence the decision of Mason Green staying or not. So it was very smart for them to come out and say we are not into this, you know, it, we don't influence Manchester's decision to keep whatever player. But at the end of the day, Mason Greenwood is a very important talent. If not, he would have been already built out or sold or whatever. Anyway, last story is about Adidas. Manchester United has tracked the biggest deal in the history of football, 900 million pounds, 10-year contract. So, yeah, 10-year contract. So 90 million pounds they will Adidas every year. That's a shirt deal. For those of you on the basic level, football clubs, especially professional clubs, do make deals with, with um, all these uh, brands, right? Just to market them. Like Adidas pays this huge money to Manchester United for 10 years for their shirt and uh, providing Manchester United with all their sporting wears for the next 10 years. The deal is uh, said to be 900 million pounds. Uh, yeah, the last deal, I think it was 750. So there's a clear improvement in it in terms of inflation. I mean, let's have a discussion. Tell me what you think this good money do you think that's a good deal i've heard some reports uh, from other guys saying it's not a good deal united have been ripped off because due to inflation in 10 years we don't know what 900 million will be in terms of value but well it is what it is but it's an improvement from what we had previously considering that uh, chelsea had a um, similar sum of amount before 15 years so we had a better deal we must uh, we must agree with that anyway guys uh, as i said let's have this dis discussion tell me what you think about mason greenwood if you want him to stay or not drop your comments below what are your uh, what are your expectations for uh, Rasmus Holland this season? Do you think he's going to score 20 goals, 15 goals? What do you expect? How should Manchester United use this attacker? Be are you over the moon like me? Because I am. I mean, I don't need to jump on <laughs> from where I am now in my spin house, but I just mean, I mean, I, I am quite um, positive about this. Anyway, guys, stay tuned to the channel. Please make sure you smash a like on the video, subscribe, join us on our daily content here in the United Way and watch along. With that said, Talk to you soon, guys.